Hello. I feel like I've been waiting to do this library reorganization video for quite some time. Now, today's the day that we're at least going to begin because I cannot deal with my library being this messy for one more day. So I will not be doing a full library bookshelf tour at the end of this. This is more just how can we make this disaster of a room look more presentable? How can it match who I am as a reader? Because right now the books that are behind me while I'm filming don't necessarily match up with what I'm primarily reading. So let's quickly do like a tiny little quick library tour for the mess and then we will talk about how I want to change some things and I'll just kind of play it by ear, keep you guys updated, keep you in the loop as I'm organizing and then we'll do some like b-roll footage and do some music while I sort some things out. So let's begin. Let's take a little walk into the library, okay? So some matters to get out of the way first. Um, actually, this one's doing better, but this is from my mom's back patio and it got super drowned last summer. So I've been trying to save it inside. This got spider mites and I am trying to save it. So we'll see, but it is doing better. Believe it or not, that needs to be cut off. Those are the planned things, but let's do a quick little look around. Okay, so there's one side. I did finally get my Mia art prints hung up. It's so wintry and snowy, it's hard to see them. But, and then this is my little TBR car edition. Paul put those <laughs> little book of the month magnets all over it. But anyways, that's going to be filled up soon. And here is the other shelf and just books everywhere, right? Okay, kind of madness. I suppose the closet behind me, I'm gonna eventually take that off, the door off and make that like a little office space. Anyways, so this behind me here, like when you walk in immediately to the right, that's a shelf that I sit in front of when I film most of my like sit down videos. And I want to keep some things there representative of my personality and the things that I enjoy the most. So I like most of how my Dune shelf is. These are like my older fantasy favorites. And then there's just so much random stuff. And I'm also going to be unhauling did I need to get the camera that close to my face? I think not. I'm also gonna be unhauling some books. I don't really think I'm gonna do an unhaul video or show them because one, if somebody sent them to me, I will feel terrible. I just feel like that's extremely rude, whether it's an author or subscriber. And two, I don't know. I don't wanna discourage people from reading books at all. Book hauls are way more fun than book unhauls. Although I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoy watching people unhaul books and just hearing their reasoning why. And I don't know, the more my reading tastes change, it's very interesting because I feel less attached to books that I would have never parted ways with. It's very hard. So all of my young adult shelves, which, you know, all up here, all of these are young adult. I used to read primarily young adult and then everything up top is all young adult. I don't know, I could have never imagined getting rid of those before, but now I just don't feel super attached to them. So once I fill up all of these shelves with new things that I love, I likely will unhaul some. This is madness area because over here we have just TBR shelves, like all of these have not been read. Um, the couple in here and then hauls that I just haven't been able to put anywhere. So let's go. I guess step one would be taking books off the shelf. Uh, here we go. So what I think I'm gonna do is put, I emptied off two of the bottom shelves and I think I'm going to put Wheel of Time and Molasin down there. Sarah J. Mass books behind me. They 
just don't represent me as a leader. And these duplicates, I'm gonna put up top. Okay, couple questions for when I do my bookshelf tour. Um, I'm not gonna do the one where you pull out every single book and list the title and the author, cause that is just, I have way too many books for that. But um, when you guys are watching videos, do you like bookshelves that are displayed where you see like covers of favorite books? Because that's sort of what I'm doing. I'm not necessarily going to change it based on feedback, just cause it's my house, my bookshelves, obviously. But I'm very curious. Um, I know that people have very specific tastes when it comes to bookshelf organization. I did ask in my Patreon Discord about um, what people enjoy seeing and that kind of thing. And I know that people, some people love having like Funkos and lights. Some people hate having clutter on bookshelves. I tend to love the look of uneven spines, everything mixed together. Rainbow shelves are my very favorite. I just don't see how it's possible, but there are definitely a couple books that I really want to display the covers for. I am going to break my own heart and get rid of some duplicate copies of things, because why am I hoarding? I don't need them. I don't know. I feel like we're making progress, but I don't know if I really like it or not. I don't know what to think. I think another thing I'm gonna do is move some of my nonfiction over to the shelf behind me too, because I love nonfiction. So I want some behind me while I'm filming. Let's roll you. Let's get a new, a new uh, perspective on where, what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> Problems is I just don't know what to do with all my horror and That is a conundrum. I've been working on reorganizing over here because this is like some middle grade in thrillers. Anyone else just randomly find three million bookmarks on their shelves? Okay friends, I think I need to put on some music, but this is where we're at. Piles everywhere, things to possibly unhaul, space on the shelves. There's a lot going on in here. Um, we'll report that later. I think I wanna keep my TBR shelves over here, so I'm trying to reorganize some sort of semblance of this is a genre because I feel like that would be This is hard. I feel like I'm not going to be done forever and ever and ever and ever. I might have to work on this on weeknights or something. But the good news is I've got quite a pile of books that I don't think I'm going to keep around. That's good. This is when I say I would literally pay someone money to come do this for me. This is so hard and I hate it. But I'm having fun. You know, like I don't want this to be a negative energy video. That's silly. This is a great time. This is a privilege. But it's hard and I'm not good at it. We're gonna take a break so I can refresh, reset. I'm gonna go eat some carrots and cucumbers because that's what I do and we'll reconvene later. Maybe a different day, maybe tonight, I don't know. Okay, I'm having some second thoughts. It is now Friday. I think the last time I filmed in here was Monday and um, I don't like what I've done. So let's do a little recap. Right now I have Dune and Hyperion back here. A lot of series. This is the main shelf that's behind me when I film. The shelf that I'm obsessed with the way it looks right now is my TBR shelves down there. Um, so I'm kind of thinking I want to move major series to this middle section. I just for some reason think that that will look nice. So here comes the organization of removing books off the shelf um, to put other ones on there. Ready, set, let's go.
normal thing. Does anyone else struggle with organizing their bookshelves this much, or is it just me? Okay, update. I kind of like what I've done so far. What I'm not loving is this giant mess. Now we have 10 times the amount of books on the floor that I had a minute ago and all of this open shelving. But what I do like is how this shelf looks right here with all these series on it and I can nicely display them. So that is looking absolutely fabulous. Now what to do over here? Whew, time will tell. Okay, I might stop for the day because, I mean, this looks really good if you ask me. This is, oh, we've got some Song of Ice and Fire, Name of the Wind, Expanse, Sarah J. Mass, Hyperion Cantos, Red Rising, Asimov, Frank Herbert, Abercrombie, Malazin, Lycanius, and Wheel of Time. So like this is a fairly satisfying shelf. Why, I wish it would focus on the shelf, not the window. From my perspective right now, and I just have no idea what to do over here. Help. Holy smokes, you guys. My life is currently this mess of a disaster. I did get a library rug. I did order a chair. The chair will not be here in time for this organization video, but it will be here in time for the library tour. So not a lot of progress has been made other than my dear, sweet, precious nephew came over. Can you tell which shelves he organized? He came and sat by me and, and literally he's two. He's not even three yet. And he says, Bippy, I want to help organize your books. Organize, do two year olds usually say organize? Cause I feel like they don't, but I'm about to get down to business because I'm not having it and I am sassy about it and I would like to finish this project to have my home back to normal again. So let's get on it. I'm gonna listen to my dark Vanessa while I do so. And if you thought I was lying about wearing sweatpants every damn day of my life, hi, it wasn't. Okay, friends, we've made some progress in this time. I'm also loving listening to my dark Vanessa. I'm not doing a reading vlog this week because of other videos. So I suppose this is where you'll hear my current reads, which is my dark Vanessa and escaping Exodus. But rug is in the room. Oops, that moved. Um, I think I'm liking it. I'm not sure. It's a little more purple than I wanted. I'm not a purple gal at all. Not at all. Um, but I'm also sick of returning rugs because I've already returned other rugs. So I really want this to be the rug. Um, we'll see, but quick little do, 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 do. Does that make you sick? <laughs> Made me sick. Okay, so my mom is gonna come over and help me repot these because that is necessary before I do the library tour video. But um, should I do a brief little overview? We'll wait. Okay, since I'm doing a full bookshelf tour next month, I don't wanna to go too in depth, but since I want it to be slightly satisfying while you guys watch this, let's go over a little bit of how I've organized the shelves and then we'll do a final look once the plants are repotted. Okay, let's walk into the library. To the left, we have the DBR cart, my Mia art wall, and my young adult books, that reminds me actually, I need to go through the top because there's a couple up there on the ledge that I'm not keeping. But what do you guys think of the rug? I kind of like it. Um, so this is all, I gotta get one of those things that helps the rug not to slip. Um, up top, we have all young adult series and Harry Potter and young adult series. And then these shelves are almost entirely young adult. Um, with a few exceptions right down here because there we have one, two, three, four shelves of thriller and horror books. Um, everything else over here is young adult and middle grade. And then this shelf here, we made the adult sci-fi fantasy series shelf. And then this shelf over here is the random catch-all, which I'm not happy with right now. But we have graphic novels, manga, poetry, nonfiction, uh, Stephen King and other horror, classics, and Star Wars. Um, 
contemporary, some favorites, my Lord of the Rings collection, random, 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 all those are random sci-fi fantasy series. Then we have some other favorites that I really love, and then TBR, TBR, TBR. So brief overview for you. We'll zoom in a bit, get some just overall look, but I mean, we got to keep something for surprise for the um, bookshelf tour where I go over what's actually on the shelves. So there you have it. That was a project. Doing this video actually made me like force myself to get this done. So I am happy about that.